Hey everyone, so today is my day in the life with the Google Pixel 8 Pro. So I woke up around 8 a.m. because I do have a train at 10.45 and it does take quite a while to drive there, plus I need to get ready. So first thing in the morning, I usually go ahead and check out YouTube Studio, just check my analytics, and then I'm away brushing my teeth. I'm the type of person to brush my teeth usually before and after breakfast because who wants to eat breakfast with a bad taste in your mouth? Now, while I went in the shower, I did put on some music and the speakers on the 8 Pro are just really good. Super loud, really clear, if not clearer than on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But the thing they're missing is definitely the bass. They're definitely a little bit more tinny than on the iPhone. So I went ahead and got dressed. I really do need to pick up some more long sleeve t-shirts because it's super cold out right now this time of year. But went ahead and styled my hair, probably do need a haircut. Then I put on my Pixel Watch 2. I'm sure this is gonna come in handy walking around London and keeping track of my step count. And I also grabbed my Pixel Buds Pro because you know, I might wanna listen to some music on the train. I realized I didn't have the Trainline app installed on my Pixel, so considering that's my main device for this trip, I installed it, logged in, and immediately could see all the information about my train times. Often I don't eat cereal in the morning, but just considering it was super early, I decided to have some crunchy nut with some semi-skim milk. So sometimes I do have yogurt, sometimes I have like porridge, or sometimes I'll have eggs. But cereal is definitely the way to go when you're tight for time. So while I was eating breakfast, I decided to just go through all my notifications. For some reason, I get tons of notifications on my Pixel compared to on my iPhone. If anyone's curious about the ring I'm wearing, this is actually made by Ultra Human. And excuse the iPhone being in this Pixel video, but currently it's paired with my iPhone. So I just want to show you, it does track your heart rate as well as your steps and your sleep quality. So I'm just trying this out. I will be doing a video on it fairly soon. And another ring I will be taking with me to London is the McClear contactless ring. This is great for if you're going through the underground and tapping on and off the barriers. Right now it is 10 a.m. I've got 97% and as you can see the at a glance widget just shows me some information about my train and if I want I can click on it and expand it into the calendar app. So on the journey there, I just went through my emails, replied to some companies about some products that I'm getting sent, and I also thanked Ultra Human for sending me the ring. At the platform, I tried to buy something out the vending machine, but the contactless for some reason wouldn't work, so I don't know whether the machine was broken or whether it's the pixel. So right now I'm just waiting for the train at Oxford from the station. Uh, this is the Pixel 8 Pro wide angle camera, so. Now it is 10.36 and surprisingly I'm down all the way to 91%, but I haven't really done a lot other than just like scroll through Facebook. Here is a video test going from the wide angle lens to the five times zoom lens. So as you can see, it's pretty good quality, but just very janky. On the train, I got out my laptop, plugged in my SSD, and I tried to do some work, but the signal was just super bad and the Wi-Fi on the train was just terrible. So I did try use some hotspot on my Pixel and the odd time I got signal, I did try go ahead and post a video. The speed was okay in some areas, but most of the time it just sucked, honestly. And when you have your hotspot on on the Pixel, it gets super warm and my phone started dropping percentages really fast. I really don't like the puck charger on the Pixel Watch 2. It's got this new four pin design and I must have knocked it or something because it didn't fully charge and then I had to top it up on the train. The total train journey was only about four hours and then I arrived in Houston, but honestly the Pixel battery got drained by my hotspot. So now it is just past 3 p.m. and I'm down to 41% already and I only hotspotted for about an hour on the train. So I just use Google Maps to find my way to the hotel because I do need to probably top this up before nighttime. So normally when I would go to London, it's from Scotland, so I was flying, but this time it was from the Lake District, so I decided to just get the train. It was a bit quicker and cheaper than going all the way to an airport and flying. 
but honestly I had no clue where to go from Houston and I ended up walking around in a circle going back to the underground I actually used my McClear ring which is pretty cool really seamless way of getting into the underground Okay, this is a wide angle video test on the Pixel 8 Pro. Just walking to the hotel right now because I got the wrong tube, the wrong station. So now it is like 4.15 p.m. I've got 30% battery, but I decided it was too beautiful outside. I had to go around, try out the Pixel camera, take some pictures, take some videos before it got dark. And then I went ahead to the hotel so I could top up the Pixel. This is the smallest elevator I've ever been in. I would not like this to break. I, I literally cannot move. It's like a one person elevator. Yeah. So everyone, I made it to the hotel room. This right here is the bathroom. It's very fancy. It's got a lot of LEDs in this room and it's overall quite modern. But then check out the bedroom. So this right here is the bed. You know you're in London. I mean, literally, there's a Union Jack English flag on the pillows right there. Um, but it's a pretty spacious room. You have like these kind of starlight LEDs as well, which will look great of a night. And then out here you have this little terrace. So it's pretty dark out right now. It's like five o'clock. But uh, I just came out to the room. I, I literally crashed in this chair. Really comfy chair, by the way. But uh, right now I have the Pixel on charge because it was down to like 15%. I used it so much today, like I used it a lot on the train for videos, I used it for hotspot because the Wi-Fi sucked on the train, and uh, yeah, I used it for like maps and contact lists and all over London I was getting trains and, and navigating my way around using the Pixel. I really like that window feature where the map pops up in this little window, so I was actually able to take pictures while seeing the map on the screen at the same time. Pretty cool. I know a lot of Androids have that, my Samsung used to, but I just kind of forgot it was there. It's so handy. So I woke up today at like 10 past 8 in the morning, which is a lot earlier than usual. And I did have an unusual day because I was on the train and using hotspot and doing things I wouldn't usually do. But what I would usually do is take a lot of pictures um, and that did take a big chunk out of the, the battery life, especially like videoing things. I got some really beautiful shots around Kensington of the sunset sky, it looked beautiful and it wasn't raining which is just awesome so fingers crossed it doesn't rain for the rest of the trip. But I'm so glad I brought the new MacBook Pro with me. I just released the video actually today and uh, this is the M3 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch. So uh, really awesome laptop, I really love the size of it, it's so much nicer than the big laptop I used to have and uh, it's super powerful so I'm literally able to edit this video and like there's no warmth coming from it it's stone cold no fans turning on it's pretty crazy so um, anyway right now it is 5 16 I'm gonna go out and get something to eat and obviously that involves going back on the underground with no signal and using maps so I'm at like 80% let's see how much it burns down again from 5 o'clock <laughs> So I'm just about ready to go. I've tried to transfer files from the Pixel to my MacBook, but it keeps failing for some reason, like the nearby share thing. So um, I'm gonna have to try to find another way of transferring the files across. But this is just a wide angle test on the Pixel. This is the back camera in low light scenario. So now this is the main camera. So hopefully it looks a little bit better than the ultra wide. I honestly feel like the Pixel nailed video this year. It's super great quality. I don't really know about the low light, but I've taken a lot of test footage out and about in the day and it looks super crispy. So this is how the front camera looks. Obviously it's gonna be slightly worse than the other two, but for a front camera, it's definitely not too bad. And I feel like the past pixels, like the Pixel 6, the front camera really sucked. Pixel 7 was a little bit better. This year I feel it's a lot more comparable to the iPhone.
So right now I'm at the top of Horizon 22. This is one of the tallest viewing points in London and look at this view, it's insane. Then I was kind of hungry, I was waiting for my girlfriend, so I decided to go to Wendy's because I knew I'd have to wait another few hours to eat. I checked out the Baconator, definitely wanted to try it for a while. It doesn't look quite like the pitcher, but it tasted good. So I've seen YouTube videos on this store, Amazon Fresh, but when I walked past, I just had to go in and try it. I didn't even need anything, but I just wanted to experience it. So I had to get out my app, go to the shopping cart, click in store, and then scan it on this reader. It lets you in and you can literally just pick up anything you want, put it in your backpack, walk out the store, and it charges you automatically. Thank you. And I even put some stuff back as well and it still got it correct. Then I checked out a Korean supermarket. They had some really interesting stuff in there. And the most interesting thing is sweet potato Kit Kats. There's definitely a really interesting flavor for a sweet biscuit. So then I just walked around randomly to try out the pixel camera. So this is the wide angle back camera in these low light conditions. And here's a picture I grabbed with the wide angle camera as well. So then when I was walking around, I saw this place called Outernet. It's like a open free museum. And when I went inside, it was crazy. You got to watch this projection show, which was not only the ceiling, but also the walls. And it looked incredible. I took this incredible low light shot with the wide angle camera and it captures the moment and the colors so well, but honestly, computational photos on this phone are just insane, especially in low light. But not only that, but the video is really good in low light as well. Watching back some of the footage on my computer, I was super impressed to see how it turned out because it was pretty dark in person and I didn't have high expectations for a Pixel phone. My past experience with video on Pixel phones is just straight up bad, but to see how well this performed in low light is what really impressed me. Google's definitely been working hard on this. So right now I'm in Trafalgar Square. This is the wide angle camera in low light. There's quite a bit of noise, but overall I think it does a really good job. And the main lens is phenomenal in these conditions. So uh, I'm just gonna go check out this choir singing behind me by this tree but really beautiful sights at Christmas time in London. I've never been here for Christmas and wow, it's amazing with all the lights and it feels so festive. Surprisingly, it doesn't actually feel that cold. It's like 10 degrees or so, nine degrees, whereas it was about four degrees up north and snowing a few days ago. So definitely is a lot warmer down here. Something you probably just heard is the Pixel actually cut the audio short on that video, so it didn't finish what I was saying. But I actually did finish what I was saying before ending the recording, it just cut it short for some reason. And I found it did that a lot throughout my video testing. So here is just a low light test with the front camera. This is a quick selfie I took, and it did take a fairly long exposure. It took quite a bit of time to actually take this photo, and I find it's just very slow, the front camera. It does do a good job, but you have to stay still for such a long time. In this picture right here, I must say it did look warmer to my eye. The picture kind of made it out to be very cool in terms of the white balance. But this shot right here just shows you how good that zoom lens is with the low light performance. So really crispy considering how far away this tower actually was. But in terms of low light video on that zoom camera, it's a whole different story. It's definitely a lot noisier and less usable. So this is a camera test for the iPhone 15 Pro Max on the left. Pixel 8 Pro on the right. Right here we have a picture with the iPhone 15 Pro Max on the left and the Pixel 8 Pro on the right. So as you can see, it does a really good job of brightening the whole scene and making it much brighter than in real life because I would say the iPhone picture definitely did look like that to my eyes. So I love taking pictures and videos on the Pixel, but being here, I have to pull out my camera because I'm a photographer and I love my camera. And smartphone cameras will never quite be the same level as like a proper camera, especially in low light conditions with like an F 1.4 
lens. Like, it's just not gonna happen. But the Pixel's pretty good at post-processing, so it can do a really decent job for a smartphone. And here we are, finally at Big Ben, after walking for the whole day and traveling the whole day since like 8 a.m. So, yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> But yeah, no matter how much processing you do to a smartphone image, it's never going to be as clean and crisp as from a mirrorless camera. A bigger sensor is always going to outperform a small sensor on a smartphone, no matter how much you process it, because it's just physics. Okay, so now I'm on London Bridge. So behind me is River Thames and the London Eye. And then Big Ben is over there. So uh, yeah, looks really beautiful. I feel like it won't look as good on video. Overall, I would definitely stick to the wide camera or the standard camera when you are taking low light video. The five times lens is very noisy and grainy and the jitter between the standard lens and five times is just so unusable. So again, recording on the front camera, but here's Big Ben behind me. I'm gonna try out this video enhancement mode to see if it will improve the low light performance, but uh, you know what? I'm really, really impressed this year with the Pixel. I feel like it's doing a really great job, especially compared to past pixels that I've tried. The view from this bridge was stunning. Just seeing the London Eye with the skyscrapers and the Elizabeth Tower with Big Ben ringing is just insane. So finally made my way down to Chinatown to get something to eat because a lot of the restaurants are open there super late and this place called Old Town 97 is actually open till like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning which is crazy. They were super fast to bring all the food from the starters, the main courses, everything was really quick, waiters were super nice and most importantly the food was really really delicious and so good. Okay, so now it is 9.47, I've got 22% battery, so it's been about, how long has it been? Like four or five hours since I recharged the phone, and we're down again to 22%. So I am using it a lot, to be fair. I've had the screen maxed out, I've had everything turned on, I've got screen quality set to high, and uh, yeah, I've pretty much constantly been on it using the map, as well as taking pictures and videos. So I would say that's actually pretty good. It's definitely more usage than I would normally do. So honestly, I, I think it's impressive. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. So then we just went out to some bars, got some drinks. Simone's Bar is a really good place to go. We decided to get the bus back from Piccadilly and boy, does this place look exactly like the COD map I used to play with the boys back in the day. Even though I did charge the Pixel Watch up, it is now down to 30% in one day, so definitely not making it past one day of usage, but I have walked around a lot. And finally, the Pixel battery life is down to 21%. So I did wake up at 8 a.m., I used it until like three, then I charged it till five. It was up 70% and now it's down to 20. So it's down 50%. And it is saying I only used about four and a half hours of screen on time today. So maybe the portable hotspot on the train just burned through it more than I thought or having the maps running in the background, I don't really know, but something killed it super fast. Oh. And good night, guys.